All right. Hello and welcome everybody to our ISIMS training hosted by the Council of Industry. My name is Tyler and today we'll be discussing applicant management. Topics to include are advancing, rejecting, and sharing your applicants on your dashboard. This is extremely useful in organizing and keeping track of who you've reached out to, who you plan to move on, and candidates that you aren't interested in pushing further for a particular role. We will be using an administrative assistant role posted by the Council of Industry as our example job posting. After clicking on the role, this is the screen that you will be shown. All the individuals who have applied will be shown here in different buckets as we refer to them as. Whenever a new candidate applies through our job postings, they are placed here under the new submissions external portal bucket. After clicking the drop down arrow, you will be able to see all of the applicants in a given bucket. Here you have three options once you select a candidate. We will be using Amy Coyle as our example uh, for this particular demonstration. Once we select her, the little checkbox next to her name, we can reject, advance, or click on more actions down at the bottom. So for example, let's say after reviewing Amy's profile, she was missing a key requirement in our job description. To separate her from the rest of the candidates, we would first click the reject button on the bottom left, which brings up a few different reasons for the rejection. Today we're going to go with the reviewed not selected option at the top. Rejecting a candidate will always ask for a reason. This is just a way for your team to make a note of why this particular candidate is placed in this particular bucket. After rejecting our candidate, they are now placed into a new bucket. This bucket is located under the initial review, reviewed, not selected, since we had just recently rejected her. Next up, we have the advanced option for our candidate. So let's say our candidate's resume was incredibly impressive and we'd like to move them forward or just set them aside while we review the rest of the candidates. We would go to the middle, click on the advanced tab, and then select reviewed at the top. Just like when we review a candidate or reject a candidate, it gives the options for a short note about why you are placing this candidate in their particular bucket. Be careful with the checkbox below the note, as if this is checked off, it will alert the candidate of their advancement, which may be a bit premature in the hiring process. Now your buckets are looking a little bit different. In your initial review, you have the candidates that you have reviewed and candidates that you have reviewed, not selected. This will make knowing who to follow up with and who has been moved forward much simpler for you and your team. <clears throat> Lastly, we have the More Actions tab located all the way on the right-hand side of your screen. Let's say you looked at this individual's resume, but you aren't quite sure if their experiences matches what you and your hiring managers are looking for, and you would like to send them their resume to review. So first, we're going to highlight the candidate or candidates that we want to send, then click on Share under More Actions on the right-hand side of your screen. Once you click Share, this email preview will pop up. You must fill out who it is being sent to, which can only be an account that is linked to an iSIMS profile. You cannot send an email to an outside email address as they will not show up in our database. An easy way around this is just to send the email to yourself so you'll have a copy of it in, uh, in your inbox that you can you know, then do with what you want. Uh, there are a variety of templates you can use with pre-filled out fields. An area highlighted in green means that it will be filled out automatically within the variables specified. For example, uh, this email will put the recipient's name, Tyler, and the candidate's name, Amy, along with the resumes attached for review. If you want to see a preview of the email uh, before it sends, please click on the preview button on the bottom left-hand side of the window. And P.S. You can send multiple resumes at the same time. Just make sure to highlight all the candidates you wish to send. By clicking the box next to the bucket you would like to send, uh, in this example, we highlight the new submissions external bucket, uh, which will then highlight every candidate that we have currently present in this bucket uh, to send to a hiring manager for review. All right, and that is it, everybody. Uh, I just want to thank you for stopping by and taking part in this iSIMS training video on applicant management. If you have any questions, you know, comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, all my contact information can be filled out at the bottom. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.